Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get started here in just one moment. So come on in. Welcome to the watchers and as well as the replay watchers. Come on in. And we're going to get started, like I said, in just one moment. Please come in, tag, share, invite your friends. I truly, truly appreciate that. And like I said, we'll get started into today's topic. Good morning and welcome to the Money Matters Morning Show, where we talk all things faith, finances, and the freedom of good credit. And I am your host, Nefertiria Robinson, and I am a coach as well as an author. And I help people fix their credit so they can buy the things that they want. So for those who haven't purchased my book, as of yet, and I know you will, but it's a great read. You can get it at bit.ly forward slash how the number two ACT. The title is How to Act, Activate Your Faith, Commit to Your Plan, and Take Action. That will change your life. It's a very simple, easy read. It gives you an opportunity to take notes. It gives you an opportunity to, to pray and really take um, dig deep and ask yourself some really serious questions about things that's going on. It has 18 um, principles dealing with your faith as well as your um, finances as well as the freedom when you have those things in order and those things aligned. So today's topic, um, also I want you to follow me on Periscope, Facebook, and Instagram at Nefertiria Robinson. You can follow me at Twitter at ACT with Neff. I truly, truly appreciate it. So the title of today's broadcast is called I Felt That. So it's part one of what hurts your credit score. So today I'm going to discuss five things that we do that will hurt our credit score. Um, so let's get into today's topic. So number one, um, credit score, like I said, is, is very important. I talk about this quite often on the Money Matters Morning Show. It, um, there's several things that can impact your credit score. Um, and one of those things, uh, and like I said, we're going to talk about over the next couple of days, you know, several things that will impact your credit score um, so that for you to be mindful and be a good steward over that as well. Um, so things that if you're not careful and how your credit score can impact you personally, it, you know, affects if you're uh, able to get credit cards, if you're able to get bank loans, sometimes it may require you to pay a security deposit if your credit score is not at a certain level. Um, it could affect how much you pay in car insurance and things of that nature. So it's very important that you don't do anything um, that can hurt your credit. So like number one, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is paying your bill late. 35% of your payment um, of your credit score is your payment history. So you need to be mindful and ensure you're paying your, uh, your bills on time. Um, all of us have a smartphone now, so you can set alarms in your phone. Um, I tend to see, try to. Uh, I have a tendency to set the alarm, um, the alarms, uh, like at least five to seven days prior to when the bill is actually due. Um, you can set up automatic payments through your bank. You can do online bill pay. You can have automatic draft um, for your particular bills, so you don't. Um, incur any late charges. But if you're a person like me, um, for those who don't know, my husband works at the post office. So yes, I do mail in my bills because I have, um, don't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> so um, if you are like me, you actually physically write on the check and, and mail your bills in, then you do have to have a system in place, something like a, a seven to 10 day, uh, give yourself like a five to seven day business day window um, when you're paying the bills at least. Um, or you can have a policy like I do. As soon as the bill comes in, it goes right out. It doesn't matter when it's due because I'm going to pay it as soon as it hits my mailbox. Um, but just be mindful to put something in place. Good morning to Rika's 12 on Periscope. How are you doing? Um, thanks for joining me. Please tag and share. And y'all give me one moment. I need to share as well. So give me one second. And I will do that. And we'll get right back in today's topic. Okay. So, and we're back. So, like I said, we're talking about things that can hurt, part one of things that can hurt your credit score. And the first thing that I talked about is paying your bills late because it encompasses 35% of your credit score. Number two, not paying at all. Do not ignore the bills that you're getting. Communicate, talk to the creditor, find out what's going on. Because if you ignore them, it's just going to make it worse for you. And you'll get closer to having like a charge off, which we'll talk about that later. But so don't ignore the bill, you know. If you don't understand why you're getting charged, I talked um, yesterday about medical bills, contact the provider, contact your insurance company, find out what is your responsibility, what they did pay. Educate yourself, find out what's going on, do not ignore the bill. So that's tip number two. Um, if you're just joining me, please tag and share. I truly, truly appreciate this. Um, 
And also show me some heart love on Periscope. Thanks so much. Okay, number three, having an account charged off. And what does that mean when you have an account charged off? It means that they just basically saying, you know what, this person is no longer going to pay. pay. So um, they just charge it off. They just think, and it's the worst thing that can happen to your credit score. They just feel you're not going to pay. So they just kind of like write it off. Like, I'm never going to get this money from this individual. So it's not even worth um the, the hassle even been bothered with them but that is a worse impact to your credit score if you do happen to get a charge off so like i said make sure that you're paying your bills on time make sure that um, you don't ignore the bills find out what's going on if you're not understanding why you're getting that bill and um try not and another thing that can hurt is having an account charged off so try to make sure that you don't get that, let that happen to you um if for whatever reason you've had some situations that you've had some credit challenges and you're looking for some assistance in that area i do have a free credit consultation that you can book at bit.ly forward slash book with neff um and i can assist you with that if you need the assistance the consultation is absolutely free and no obligation all right so tip number four have an account sent to collections. So basically what that means, if you have had accounts sent to collections, that means that the creditor had decided to, you know, let a third party collect on that debt. And so, um, so sometimes it can be sent before or even after a charge off that it can be sent to the third party collections. And they're basically trying, the creditor themselves have given up trying to get the payment, but now you have a collection agency trying to retrieve some of the payment of that bill that you owe them. They've hired someone else to do it because they really have decided that they're no longer going to try to get the money from you. However, they have hired somebody to get it from you. So that's um, another thing that can impact your credit score if you have something sent to collections. Number five, so my fifth tip for today is if you default on a loan. So it's very similar to a charge off. If you did, it's basically that you did not fulfill your loan obligation. So if you've done something like got a car and you stop paying for it, you send it back, or you got a personal loan from your bank, and for whatever reason you you, you know decided you wasn't going to pay it anymore, that's those are some things that happen when you have defaulted on some type of loan, and that also can impact your credit score. Once again, please tag and share. I thank you for the heart love. I truly, truly appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram, Periscope, as well as Facebook at Nefertiri Robinson, on Twitter at ACT with Neff. If you have any questions um, about saving, budgeting, paying off debt, or credit, you can submit your question at bit.ly forward slash ask Neff R. So, Let's recap the five tips I talked about, or not even tips, but the five things that can impact your credit score um, that we talked about today. So number one, paying your bills late can impact your credit score. Number two, not paying at all. Having a, Number three, have an account be charged off. Number four, have an account sent to collections. And number five, defaulting on a loan. So tomorrow I will be uh, talking about having part two where we discuss some more things that can impact your credit score. Um, things have happened to, can happen and um, credit score impacts everything in your life. Your finances impacts everything in your life. You know, before you can really do anything, one of my act principles is counting the cost. And it's not just in cost as far as finances, it's also in cost of time and responsibility and how it affects your household. So finance is a big important. That's why it's the center stone of what I coach about because it impacts everything. If you want to take a vacation, you have to check the money. If you want to go back to school, you have to check the money. If you want to uh, provide your kids with a college education that they don't have to get student loans for. It requires you having money. If you want to start your own business, it requires you having money. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Um, on Periscope, thanks for joining me. So you can catch me here every, hey Lisa, how are you? You can catch me here every weekday morning, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we talk all things faith, finances, and the freedom of good credit. If you have some credit challenge and you're looking for somebody to assist you in um, rebuilding your credit and increasing your credit score, you can schedule a free consultation at bit.ly forward slash book with Neff. If you have any questions about saving budget or debt elimination, you can submit your question at bit.ly ask Neff R, or you can submit them right here in the comments. I will respond there as well. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember, owe no man nothing but to love him, for he that have loveth has fulfilled the law. Have a blessed day. Bye.